Hello, welcome back. Today we've got 50 words Australians pronounce weird by Tristan Kuhn. Kuhn? Uh, this should be fun. 50 words. All right, I'm ready. Let's get through it. Emu. E -mu. <laughs> emu. Emu. <laughs> I already know because that one video I made about emus, like the emu war, that's like every comment was just, it's. They were trying to say, it's, it's pronounced emu or something. I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. Em, emu. Let me try emu. it. Emu. Emu. I don't even see the difference. Emu. Emu? Emu. 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 What is good, y'all? Tristan here. And today, I am back with a new video. We are talking about... 50 words that Americans and Australians just pronounce differently. As you can tell by the intro, the first word that Americans and Australians just pronounce differently is emu. So Americans pronounce it okay, so it's emu. Like, it's like Mewtwo. Mew, the Pokemon. Australians pronounce it emu. I recently did a video Mew, where I said e emu and y'all just about lost it in the comment section. Everyone That's going after me for saying emu wrong or saying it the American way. It was actually that video, me saying emu, that kind of helped inspire this video. I had a bunch of you reach out to me saying that I should do a video about words that are pronounced differently. Hey, maybe uh, you guys are saying The first one to reach out to me was a subscriber named- No, no, okay, okay. Emu, emu. Craig, so Sorry. shout out to you, Craig. But Craig, when he reached out to me, he sent me about, I don't know, five to 10 words that we pronounce differently. One of them being his very own name. He said, the way Craig. The way I say it, just have been saying it, Craig is wrong or not how they say it in Australia. On the left though, that's more like Craig. I, <laughs> I pronounce it Craig. I think there's a difference there. In Australia, they pronounce it Craig. They really em Craig. Besides that A, Craig. Whereas in America, we just kind of Craig. pronounce that name as like, with, like as if it had an E, like C-R-E-G, Craig. Anyways, those are the first two, but we got 48 right. more awesome words. So here Let's we go. go. Number three is Puma, or as they would say in Australia, Puma. Puma. Like the cat or Puma. the apparel company or- the What's with you guys in the ew? Ew. No. There's a petrol station line, kind of like 7-Elevens here in Australia, called Pumas, or they, what they say, Puma, like a little gun, like pew, pew, pew. I don't know, that's what I think of when I think of it, but yeah, pew, pew, Puma. Number four is buoy, or as they say it in Australia, boy. Like the little thing that floats in the water, we pronounce buoy. that buoy. Here in Australia, they pronounce it boy, like boy, boy and girl, kind of. Like F boy. What's up, my boy? Yeah, same thing. Boy. Before I say more of these huh. words, I just need to make a quick, like, Bowie. disclaimer and say that not all Americans say this, like, the American way, and not all Australians say these words the, like, yeah, Australian. Different, you know, accents. Wait, I actually, I ran this video, like, the, this list by a couple Australians. There was, like, four or five Australians. Not all of them pronounce. I'm skipping to the next word. I'm sorry. I'm too All right, impatient. there we go. That was the disclaimer. Number five is Nutella. This yummy stuff. Am I call it. Nutella. Americans, like me, I would pronounce this Nutella like it's N new Nutella. Nutella. Here in Australia, they pronounce it Nutella, like a yes. nut. Yeah, Nutella. Nut Nutella. That Number six is the, the eye popular eye. card game Uno. In America, no. we pronounce Let me guess. You know. <laughs> Uno. It's kind of like the emu one. Uno. Here, it is more pronounced like you know. Number seven is caramel, or as it said in Australia, caramel. You know. Caramel. Eight is one. tomato, or seven Car is caramel, or... See, Americans do both these. Caramel. I, I would say, um, caramel. Or caramel. I got I, either one. As it said in Australia, caramel. Eight is tomato, or as it said in Australia, tomato. Number nine... Hey, tomato, tomato. It's a crazy one. It is this stuff that you, like, put over food like and whatnot. Foil? We would call it in America, aluminum. Oh, aluminum. People pronounce aluminum weird. Here in Australia, it is aluminium. Ten aluminium. I kind of like that. I actually like the sound of that. I might start calling. I've heard that aluminium. Is the yeah, apparel like company that. in America? We would pronounce this as Adidas. However, here in Australia, it is Adidas. One thing. That's how the Germans pronounce it, right? Because that's a German company, Adidas. Um. But it's definitely Adidas. Okay, that's that just flows. Off, thing I want to know like real quick is a lot of these differences in pronunciations are like they come from England, and so a lot of these words that Australians say differently to Americans, you could almost make this whole list and say English people also say these words different. Not for all of them, but as a general rule of thumb, you could say it for most. Number eleven is this car company Nissan. right here. So we would pronounce this in America as Nissan. However, here in Australia, it is pronounced Nissan. Number twelve. Nissan. Nissan. 
I wouldn't even know what you meant if you were like, see that Nissan driving by? Is this, I don't know, breathing, respiratory condition, whatever you want to call asthma. it. In America, we call it asthma, and in Australia, it's pronounced asthma. We kind of say it more like a Z sound, like asthma, where here it's more like a, like an S sound, like ass. 13 is this plant. We would call it oregano in the States. However, here in Australia, it is pronounced oregano. This plant, we would call it oregano. I was gonna say maybe oregano. Oregano in the States. However, here in Australia, it is pronounced oregano. This plant right oregano. here, I would pronounce kind of like that too. Pronounce this, or Americans would pronounce this as basil. However, basil. in Australia, it is pronounced basil. This nut right here. Ah, uh, like uh, Austin Powers, basil. Me and most Americans would pronounce this as pecan. However, in Australia, most people pronounce this as pecan. Now, number 16 is kind <laughs> of an iffy one because I actually nice naturally pecan say this one the Australian, the Australian way, but I've heard it both ways in America, so that is apricot or apricot so yeah, apricot yeah, yeah. is Whichever. like the american way but i've always pronounced it apricot which is how like everyone in australia pronounces apricot. it number 17 is fillet or it's fillet if you're american here in australia I, th I think that's correct that, like in french you would pronounce that fillet i assume that's a french word maybe not australia, they pronounce it as fillet so it is a oh fillet Fillet. Fillet of, uh, fillet of fish or a fillet of fish. Fillet, fillet. Now the next two are just letters, but that is the letter Z. So I pronounce it Z, as I just said. But in Australia, Z. they pronounce it Z. The next letter is this letter. That I just don't understand. I don't. How can how can a letter? I'm trying to think. How can a letter A B C D? How can it have like a D in it if there's if it's? How can a letter be spelled like Z E D? Z. How can one letter have multiple letters to spell it? I just don't. There, H is that? I get that it doesn't actually have more than one letter. So that's how. That's how, just how you pronounce it. But still, it just doesn't work in my brain. I would say it. However, and like some people in Australia do say H, but a lot of them here pronounce H. it H, like H. Twenty. H. I, <laughs> I kind of like that H, because you got the H in there. H is leisure so me and like every american pronounces it leisure. leisure i've never heard it pronounced any other way however i'm gonna start p guessing how the australian i'm not looking at the bottom right i'm just gonna start guessing how you guys pronounce I it i came here to australia leisure. and they pronounce it leisure the next two are countries so iraq we pronounce it iraq, iraq. here they pronounce it iraq like we say iraq. i they say uh. iraq iraq oh, same subtle. thing for the next one which is iran 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 yeah just iran. a minor difference 23 is fragile Fragile. Or it's fragile if you're American. Here in Australia, how they say it is it's fragile, like. Oh. Fragile. Uh, I say that all the time. They say aisle, we say oh. 24 is missile. Or hmm. How would you guys miss. Mistle. Or as they would say it in Australia, missile. And 25. Missile. Oh my god. How could I not think of that? It's military. Um. M military. Mi. Uh. Yeah, you've been to the, yeah, you're going into the mili military, M M military, I, c I don't know. Or as they would say in Australia, military, America, oh. military, Australia, military. Now 26 military. is going to be the most controversial of them all because not all Australians, I would actually say most Australians don't say this word this way, but I've heard of a couple say it and I'm telling you, it is so wrong. It sounds, of all the ones, this is the most triggering for me. I hate it when people pronounce this word this way and that is... Vitamins. Okay, so would you call it like vitamins? Vitamins. Like, did you take your vitamins this morning? You know, it's healthy to take your vitamins. Some people in Australia, I don't know why, but they pronounce Looks it like vitamins. It. No, it can't be. It's not vitamins. That just sounds... I don't know. Yeah, I think they do that like in Britain. I'm so wrong. All these so, words that I've said, not, not one way is right over the other. Vitamina They're just vitamin. different ways of pronouncing words. But this one, I'm going to stick by it and say vitamins is right. It's vitamins, kind of it, just, it just sounds wrong. 27. In America, we say gorilla. Garage. Garage in Australia. Some people still say garage, but a lot of people here also say garage. That one seems, yes. seems to be about like a 50-50 split here. Uh, it's kind of like there's an American way to say it and an English way to say it. And in Australia, they kind of, I don't know, have like, they kind of do. People here definitely say garage. So, 28 is this. Z zebra. 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 Lovely striped animal right over here. I would pronounce this, Americans would pronounce this as zebra. However, in Australia, they pronounce it zebra. 29 yes. is. Mo Mobile. Mobile. And I would say mobile. Or as they would say it, and I'll show you, mobile. 30s are oh, crazy. Oh, no, okay. Mobile. I was going to say mobile. 
I thought that might be one because when I first heard it like I thought it was a different word I didn't realize that they were saying the same word just Mobile. pronouncing it different, but that's cordial or cordial Cordial Co Cordial Cordial so yeah in America cordial. we pronounce it cordial whereas here in Australia it's pronounced cordial 31 is advert Oh advertisement advert advert like I bet you guys say advert advertisement advert is advertisement advertisement and the difference is like which syllable you stress so in american english we would say advertisement advertisement and in australian english you say advertisement advertisement it's like there's more emphasis on the ver advertisement part when we shorten that word we refer <laughs> to it right? as an ad like oh do you see the the super bowl ad whereas in australia advert. when they like shorten that word down they short it down to advert so like oh do you see that advert 32 is deep Depot, um, which here is, it's Depot. Um, do you guys say, do you say Depot? Depot, yes, so that's... yeah, Americans, we pronounce it Depot. Oh, In Australia, they pronounce it Depot. Depo. 33 okay. is this. Vase, um, vase. Fragile vase. little thing that you put flowers in. So we would pronounce say. it in American English as vase, whereas they're here in Australia, they pronounce it vase. So the way. Oh, that's a lot more subtle than vase. We say it, it like it rhymes with like face, like your face. They I kind of say vase. Face, face. I think I here say it that is vase, the... as in like face, like it doesn't phase me. Yeah, phase, I think, uh, phase. I'm with the audience. Face, face, phase, vase. Yeah, phase, I think I'm saying that right. That's gonna be yeah, you get it. Vase, a ah. Okay, screw it. You got it. You got Excellent. it already. Moving on. Thirty-four is a Ad adult, 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 or as they would say in adult. Australia, adult. Thirty-five is mom. Mum. Which no, um Mom Mum Ma They say in Australia as mum, but that's also English influence, but yeah, yeah, yeah. this is kind of more than just a different pronunciation because we spell it M O M and here in Australia they spell it M U M, so it's like I don't know. I don't know if it's, it's a they different word. pronounce it differently or if it's just a different word, but yeah. Mom mum. Thirty six is pre Premier. Premier. Pr premier verse, I bet. Premier. Premier or premier. So in American English, premier. we would say this word as premier. Australian, premier. I premier. Premier. Honestly, I kind of like the that. way Australians say it more. It I think sounds good, but I premier. It's kind of hard that for me to say That sounds more right. So yeah. Premier, premier. 37 is herb. Er herb. Um. Herb. Oh. oh, you guys just pronounced the H. Herb. I just said okay. it the Australian way. In American English, herb, you just don't pronounce I like that. There's something about me, like the word sword. I always try to pronounce the W. Sword. Sword. So I kind of like that. I don't like silent letters. They bother me. So herb. Pronounce the H at all. And in Australian oh, no. English, it is herb. You do pronounce the H. 38 is scone. scone. So Scone. This thing right here. I don't even... Pronounce that know. in American English as scone, whereas because I I've almost never said that word in my life. In Australian English, it is pronounced scone. Thirty nine is this car. Hyundai. Um, you guys might say Hy Hyundai. Brand right here. So in America, we pronounce this Hyundai, which everyone tells me is wrong. See, I don't like the. I always try to pronounce the Y. Hyundai. That's how I say it. But Hyundai. Wrong. It probably is. So Hyundai. we pronounce this as Hyundai here. They pronounce it as Hyundai. Americans. <laughs> Hyundai. I feel like this guy might be a little off just because he's American. So I feel like you guys say Hyun Hyundai. 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 To make it like two syllables, Sorry. like Hyundai. Australians, three syllables, Hyundai. Now 40 and 41 are quite similar, oh, but that we're is on 40? semi. Semi, semi. So yeah, we say this word as semi, like with the I, we say I at the end. And I'll show in English there. Well, if I was talking about a semi truck, I'd say semi. But if I was talking about like that's semi, that's semi right, or that's you know, like a little bit, like half, then I'd say semi. It's pronounced it semi, semi, semi. But yeah, I know some Americans who say it the the Australian way, the semi way. In similar fashion, we have anti, anti, anti. I say both. And anti Americans. It totally depends. Hard eye, long eye, whatever you want to say. Anti Australians, anti. And similar to anti, we have. 
aunt. Oh, this is big here. People in Amer in the States say it two different ways too. Aunt and aunt. I say aunt. Aunt or aunt. So, and uh, like it goes, b Americans say it both ways, but I've always said it aunt, like your aunt and uncle. Um, but there are some aunt. people in America who pronounce it aunt. Here in Australia, everyone pronounces it, or at least everyone I've met has pronounced it aunt, which honestly kind of makes sense because like, I don't know, your aunt. It seems more right. Isn't like an aunt, like she's an aunt. 43 is entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Ooh, that's tough. Ante entrepreneurial. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? Is that how you guys say it? So, Ante I, yeah, I've always pronounced this entrepreneur. In Australia, they pronounce this entrepreneur. So, like, entrepreneur. I don't see it. Entrepreneur. 44 is niche. Or niche. I say niche. So, what do you guys say, niche? Or niche. So, in America. No, I say niche. America, again, Americans say this both ways. I've heard Americans say niche. I've heard Americans say niche. But it's pretty common to say niche. It's I myself niche. have always said niche. But in Australia, no one. I think people who say niche are just. They've, they've like, never said it out loud. It's one of those words they just read in, in, in like a book and they've never said it out loud. Niche. It says niche. It is niche here in Australia. 45 is this spice right here. Tur turmeric. 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 I I don't even know what that is. Is it? I, I feel like I'd say turmeric. So I would pronounce this as turmeric. However, in Australia, they would pronounce it as turmeric. Like that's what I would say. I didn't even know there was an R in there. Like, that. you have a tumor, turmeric, turmeric, you get it. I'm a little more Australian than I thought. Real quick, guys, I just want to say I hope you're enjoying this video. And if you are, please make sure you give it a big old like. And For sure. Hey, you I know got what? a whole While you're lot talking, more videos bro? of like comparing like America and Australia and talking about the language differences. So if you want channel. to see those, I will link them all in the description below. Back to the video. 46 is bouquet. So I. Oh, bouquet or bouquet. I say bouquet, but like a, a soft O, I bouquet. Say bouquet. Here in Australia, they would pronounce it bouquet. A bouquet of flowers, bouquet. bouquet of flowers, bouquet, bouquet. 47, I don't know if it's this silly difference in pronunciation, but it's, it's kind of like a word, but also pronunciation. So if you have an animal, like a dog, that is your pet. And your pet likes it when you pet them. Or, or what? That, what do you guys say if you pet it? That's what we would say in American English. You would say you pet your pet. You pet. Oh, there's a correction. It's your dog. <laughs> so we use the word pet thing. as okay. a noun and a verb. Here in Australia, they don't do that. They would say you pat your dog. You pat your cat. I don't know if you're the pat. This is a pat. This is a pet. Pat cats, but you, you get it. They would say you pat your pet. We would say we pet our pet. Now these last three all kind of have to do with how Australians pronounce the R sound at the end of a word. So they just don't really pronounce it. So for example, we would say car. Oh, you used to say car. Car. We're here in Australia. It's just like car. Like they, they, they don't. They hardly say the R. It and sounds this, so um, informal, and I like that. This goes for like a bunch of words. Like uh. any word that ends in like an I R E R A R in Australia, just kind of how the accent is. They just say uh. So like take my do car. Doctor, doctor, butter, butter, better, better. The R is not really pronounced. Well, these last two, it's kind of a question for you Australians. It's going to be controversial, but I want to ask these these two cities. So y'all have. Melbourne and y'all have cans. Australians love. I call it Melbourne. To get Americans a hard time for mispronouncing these cities. Oh, you don't pronounce the R? Melbourne? We call Melbourne, Melbourne, and we call cans. I wonder how many times I haven't even known what you guys are talking about when you say Melbourne. Cairns, because there's like an R there. Well, and that's just cans? My question for you is. Are we actually pr mispronouncing these cities or are we just saying them with an American accent? It's hard for me to say one way or the other because like on one hand I'm like alright like whoever lives That's blowing my mind that Melbourne is not And that city gets the name of cities and like say how it's pronounced so yes it's Melbourne. Melbourne and it's Cairns But then at the same time I'm like if the actual name of the city if, if it's real if the actual name is actually Melbourne And the actual name is actually Cairns It wouldn't matter because the Australian accent just leaves the R off if it's ever in the last syllable of a word So you would pronounce Melbourne Melbourne and you would pronounce Cairns. I don't know. I don't know bro And Cairns. Let me know in the comment section what you think if you'd like to know any All I know is if I was there and I needed directions, I'd be lost because they'd be saying, like, just go to Cairns. And I'd be like, I don't see that on the map. Anyway, thank you for watching. Go check out this dude's channel. Um, that was fun. That was, uh, it kind of felt like I was in class, like if I was taking Australian class as a foreign language, how to talk in Australia. Um, yeah, uh, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, have a happy Arvo, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <gasps> Goodbye.